Dropkick Murphys formed in South Boston in 1996, vocalist Mike McColgan, guitarist Rick Barton and bassist Ken Casey comprised the original nucleus of the group, with a series of drummers passing through the lineup before the addition of mainstay Matt Kelly in 1997. After a series of EPs including Fire and Brimstone, Tattoos and Scally Caps and Boys on the Docks, the Murphys signed to Hellcat Records to issue their 1998 full-length Do or Die produced by Rancid's Lars Fredriksson. McColgan exited the group soon after and was replaced by vocalist Al Barr for the follow-up 1999's The Gang's All Here. Mob Mentality a split release with The Business appeared in mid-2000, at the same time, the band was going through an extensive redesign. Their five-piece arrangement expanded into a septet, as Mark Orrell stepped in after original guitarist Rick Barton left the band to get married. James Lynch joined as guitarist with bagpiper Spicy McHaggis and mandolinist Ryan Faltz also coming aboard to enhance the band's increasingly Celtic-driven sound. For their third studio effort, 2001 Sing Loud Sing Proud, bassist Ken Casey took over production duties, and the album featured collaborations with ex-Pogue Shane McGowan and Coxbarrers Colin McFall. Their Irish pride shone through the next year, when Live on St. Patrick's Day from Boston, Massachusetts was released in the summer. Recorded at the biggest Irish-American celebration of the year in a town known for its widespread Irish heritage, the set was a blistering example of their intense and lively gigs, as the band prepped for the annual Vans Warp Tour in summer 2003, they released Blackout in June, the album featured new bagpipe player Scruffy Wallace and accordionist Tim Brennan. The Murphys reworked the Boston Red Sox anthem Tessie on their mid-2004 EP Tessie which subsequently became the theme song to the Sox's World Series run that year and was featured in the movie Fever Pitch. Warriors Code followed in 2005 and one of its songs, I'm Shipping Up to Boston, was later used in the 2006 Martin Scorsese film The Departed become their biggest hit. Soon after the Murphys recorded The Meanest of Times, a collection of songs about family loyalty, featured guest appearances by Spider Stacy of the Pogas and Ronnie Drew of the Dubliners and was released in mid-September 2007. With the 2008 departure of lead guitarist Oral, the group welcomed multi-instrumentalist Jeff DeRosa into the fold and promoted Brennan to lead guitar. Live on Lansdowne, Boston, Massachusetts, a CD and DVD of tracks called From a Week of St. Patrick's Day shows in Boston in 2009 was released in 2010. For their next studio effort, the band looked inward to create a concept album, combining their own experiences to create the fictional character Cornelius Larkin. The result was their seventh album Going Out in Style which was released in 2011 on their Born and Bred label. 2012 saw the band follow up with Live at Fenway before returning the next year with their eighth studio effort, signed and sealed in blood. The Murphys returned in early 2017 with their ninth studio effort 11 Short Stories of Pain and Glory, the album was their first to be recorded outside of Massachusetts with the band relocating to El Paso, Texas, for the entire creative process. Inspired by the group's work with the Cladoff Fund for Recovering Addicts, it was released once again through their own imprint Born and Bred Records. Upon release 11 Short Stories debuted at number 8 on the Billboard 200, the band then headed out on an extensive world tour including dates with Rancid in North America. Recording started on their 10th album in 2018 with a handful of tracks released in the interim, and by 2020 with COVID-19 putting tours on hold, the group focused on finishing the release. On it the band opted to move away from the enraged content of their previous albums instead writing uplifting, sing-along, Feel good anthems along with an ode to Barr's father and the numerous people lost to COVID-19, the resulting album Turn Up the Dial was issued at the beginning of 2021. The following year Barr went on hiatus from the band to tend to his ailing mother, in his absence they recorded their first all-acoustic set, featuring songs set to unused Woody Guthrie lyrics. 2SXS Upside Down marked the first offering from this machine Still Kills Fascists, a second album born of the same sessions, Okama Rising arrived in 2023 and featured guest appearances by the Violent Femmes, Jesse Ahern and Jamie Wyatt. 